Okay, this is a video for Alan. Um, Alan's just joined the forum and he's asked me for some um, help in designing a system. This is for a pub with a flat above. Um, there's constant complaints from the pub about underheating. Um, and uh, we're not quite sure whether it's a problem with the emitters or the boilers. Currently there's two boilers installed which we suspect are around 30. 30 kilowatts each um, and it's failing to heat the heat the pub which could as I say be a problem with emitters um, so I'm not quite sure what the heat loss is yet we're going to get um, heating engineer software to calculate the heat loss for the building and that will allow us to establish our boiler sizing so this is a provisional design based on the idea that the heat load might exceed 35 kilowatts um, one of the things I like to do in my domestic designs, or sorry, even in, in the bigger designs over 35 kilowatts is to stick with domestic boilers. And that's simply because availability of parts and familiarity of engineers, you know, any domestic engineer can walk into um, a property and, and work on these smaller boilers. Um, so um, if it uh, becomes a commercial boiler, then obviously it's... Um, Kind of put off the the, uh, the amount of people who come to work on the system so it's a really old system it's got trench heating um, and um, an existing open vented cylinder i don't see any point in in changing from the open vented system the hot water is working fine but the cylinder is old and unlagged so renewing the cylinder with a high recovery uh, or, or a really highly rated copper open vented cylinder will be fine there's a bronze pump circuit on that to circulate to the ladies, the gents, the kitchen and to the flat. And that we're su suggesting, uh, I'm suggesting we fit PIRs on that. So the bronze pump only runs when there's activity within the kitchen, the flat um, or the ladies and the gents. And there's a system from Smartwares uh, allows us to connect up to six PIRs to one receiver unit. And this is uh, pretty cost effective stuff each part is about 35 quid um, so for one receiver about 35 quid and then about 35 pounds for um, each uh, area that you want to be able to signal back to it and I, th I think the limit was six it's five or six I read on the instructions the other day I have the system um, actually have the system here in my own house uh, this is a PIR on the wall um, and um, actually I have a real problem with signal here. These aren't the strongest to signal these units. And this is connected to a commercial booster, um, which is sighted under the sink here at the back of the sink cabinet, uh, which switches that and that sends a signal up to another receiver. So this is a little bit more expensive. The, uh, the higher rated receiver is about 140 quid. But anyway, that, that's the idea that we'll have this PIR system, hopefully without the big, big uh, sender. Um, going back to the bonds pump. If we need to fit these, it's going to have a lot of money. But anyway, let's hope not. So, um, provisionally, my thoughts for this system are to install two system boilers. Uh, I'm not sure what system boilers to use yet. I've obviously plumped directly for the Wiesmann because that's my chosen boiler usually. Um, and um, to only connect one uh, to be permanently signalled from the cylinder and the other one to be only signaled from the cylinder in case of a breakdown. So there'll be a changeover switch, which allows the, the signal from the cylinder to, to divert off to this boiler um, rather than this one, should this boiler break down. So that would then be able to take over and supply the hot water. Um, this boiler will be dedicated for heating at all other times. And that's via a plate heat exchanger because this is a very old system um, and it's got galvanized pipes in there, I believe, and the chances of getting that clean enough to give any longevity to the boilers is pretty low. So we're uh, plumped for the plate separation on this job. Um, and the sizing of boilers, obviously this one, if we can size it completely to do the whole heat load, that's great. And uh, this boiler could pretty much be dedicated only to the um, hot water at that point. Um, and could be plumbed into fire off of the heating if required at any time on another changeover switch or if the heat load is above the domestic range 
uh, for the pub. This one can be permanently um, connected in to supplement this. Um, the, the pub can hold up to 80 people. They could be washing hands, uh, there could be the kitchen operating and people in the flat could want hot water and that's why um, I want this uh, separate boiler. Originally I thought about using just one because I don't think the heat, lo the heat loss will be over 35 kilowatts. Um, but uh, then it occurred to me that really we need a, a boiler just for the hot water. So it makes sense to, to utilise these two in such a way that if one goes down it can do the job of both. Um, and if both are working, one is dedicated to the hot water. And you could do a switch over. We could just switch these switches now and again. Uh, and that would um, allow the other boiler to swap roles for one to do the hot, to, the one that normally does the hot water to switch to the heating. Um, just to get even wear and tear on the boilers if necessary. Um, basically to run off of zone valves. I'm not suggesting we use weather comp on this. Um, suggesting to go for TPI. Um, and that's simply because you know the pub's going to require a very rapid heat up when it starts to work. They're not going to want to run the heating in the off periods. Um, it's a bigger building, um, and also there's going to be doors opening, closing, all sorts of stuff going on in the pub. And then there's going to be high occupation. So this needs to have feedback, internal reference feedback, and it needs high temperature to be responsive. So forget weather comp for this design, in my opinion. We're going to use some standard zone valves and I think we can run it from a single pump. We don't need to use two separate pumps. The flat's only got four radiators um, and as I say, I think the pump's going to be under 30, 35 kilowatts. Um, some kind of return filter there to give us some protection for our plate. Two filling loops, additional expansion vessel PRV. So fairly straightforward, fairly simple, a little bit of jiggery pokery with the controls, adding these two switches over in the PIRs. Um, and whatever the current uh, Honeywell control is that replaces the old CM927, my old favorite TPI control, um, could go on these two circuits here. Um, you know, I don't do a lot of, um, of smart controls. I'm not sure if there's any advantage to using any smart controls on this system. I know Alec Morrow is a big fan of Tado, um, but I would be interested in some feedback whether anyone thinks that I should be using some other control other than just the standard TPI stat. Um, and let me know your opinions on that. Um, that would be very useful. And also Alan is on the forum, so I guess he could listen in and, and get some tips as well on this design. Um, also, if there's any other things here you can see that might need... Uh, uh, modification or any other ideas or any other theories please put them up and so we can consider them all we want to come up with the best design for this pub it's a friend of alan's um, that owns the pub and she wants a good job so i uh, look forward to your uh, comments um, i will be posting this on youtube so if you are watching this on youtube and you're interested please comment there also and please like my video and if you wouldn't mind subscribing that would help too thank you very much